everyone, Courtney here for One and Two Company Crochet. And today we are going to make a cute little no sew tutu for any amigurumi, but we're going to make ours for Poppy the Sweet Piggy. She, she's super fabulous, so she needs a tutu. What you will need is the crocheted buddy that you're going to make your tutu for, some tool. This is just a white glittery tool that I got at Joann's. Some ribbon, you can also use elastic. Scissors, a measuring device of your choosing so that you can make your strips of tool in whatever size you like, and a different cutting device. So I'm going to use a rolling cutter and this fabric mat because I find that to be quicker and easier for making your tutu. First thing you need to do is measure around your animal's waist. You can use a tape measure if you'd like. I'm not gonna be that precise. So I'm making a tutu that we can tie onto our animal and then we can take it off if we don't wanna use it anymore. So leaving a long end, so for one side, I'm going to wrap it around her middle just so I can get an idea of where, of how long I want my, my ribbon to be. About here and then I'm gonna cut extra so I have enough to tie with. Then what you're going to do is start cutting your tool strips. You can make them as long as you like or as wide as you like. What I have found is with these shorter spools of tool, they are already, they're about six inches wide and I find that one inch strips, about six inches long, is pretty much perfect for how I want this to look. So now what we're going to do is start cutting our tool strips. So here is my tool, this is white, so you can't really see it that great, but I'm gonna stretch it out over my cutting board. And it goes almost to the edge on either side, so I'm gonna kinda try to center it a little bit. And I'm gonna make my strips about an inch wide. These don't have to be precise. If you would like to make them really precise, that's great. I'm not super worried about it because when your tutu is done, they'll kind of all be bunched up around and they'll look fine regardless of how precise your measurements are. So I'm using a rotary cutter. These are sharp, so be very careful when you're using it. So I'm gonna start at the bottom here and I'm gonna cut up just to my 12 inch line because I'm making mine six inches, my strip six inches long so I can make two sets of strips out of this. Move to the next line, so another inch wide strip and to the next and to the next. So now I have about five strips, you really can't see them and I'm gonna cut across at my 12 and at my six. So I've got what will amount to 10 gauzy tool strips. Just if they are still stuck together, just tug gently. They will come right apart. Just like that. You're gonna wanna do a lot of these. Um, depending on how full or how sparse you would like your tutu, will depend on how many you're going to cut. Um, I've never actually counted the ones that I've made so far, but I know that at the end of it, when I'm ready to start assembling, I have a pile of tool strips, pretty big. So we're gonna make some more, cut. And like I said, just keep going, cutting your 
strips to you get to a point where you think you might have enough. But don't put away your cutting tools or your tool because you will probably need more after you have it all assembled to make the fullness to your liking. So here we have a bowl full of tool strips. Um, and what we're going to do is start adding them to our piece of ribbon or if you're using elastic, your piece of elastic. What I like to do is first add an overhand knot at the end of my ribbon so that I have a place to tie. So I'm gonna, as I attach these, I'm gonna bunch all of my pieces of tool down against this knot. And that's how I will keep them from falling off. So we're gonna grab a piece of tool, fold it in half, and we're gonna start putting it on our ribbon. We're gonna lay it under our ribbon and put your finger through the fold and pull your ends through. Kind of like if you were making fringe on a scarf with yarn or adding hair to the top of an amigurumi, we're gonna do, the, it's the same principle. Pull it tight and slide it down to your knot. And that is what you'll do all the way to the end to where you find that you have enough tool to make a fluffy tutu. Grab another piece, fold it in half under your ribbon. Pull your ends through your fold. Pull it tight. Slide it down. Grab the tool. Fold in half. Under your ribbon. Pull your ends through your fold. slide it down and you keep working just like that all the way to the end you can also if you want to add more embellishment you can add pieces of ribbon in here you could even add pieces of yarn anything that you like that would give color or flair to your tutu is going to work perfectly just follow the same procedure cut it to about six inches in length fold it push it under your yarn and pull the ends through that fold end of where I want to stop putting tool on. Um, I tied another overhand knot here so that they won't fall off. I'm just going to add a couple more. And then we are ready to tie the tutu to our little piggy. You can, if you notice that your ends are really kind of straggly and a little ugly, you can trim them if you want to. I don't really think that's necessary because when the tool is all bunched up together, it kind of hides all of that. And you remember how I had that great big bowl full of tool earlier? That's all that's left. So this definitely takes quite a bit, quite a bit of strips, but your spool of tool for this size of a tutu should last for quite a while. You can get a lot of tutus out of that. So I think we're good. Um, you can shift your little knots of tool all around your ribbon to get them exactly where you want them. And you're ready to tie it on. So grab your piggy or whatever animal you have made your tutu for and tie your tutu onto your piggy. Here she is. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.